working with cascading drop down this concept is called as cascading drop down concept name is cascading drop down working with cascading drop down okay write down cascade straight drop down with countries drop down cascade with country drop down so you are going to cascade straight drop down with country drop down understand for that what is the actual requirement points write down first point you write down. cascade straight drop down with country drop down first point alter state stable alter state stable alter state stable by adding a new column by adding a new column which column should i add country code why country code why not country name because it is common it is a class key it's a key column i told you there is nothing like keys and all in pega i mean like well when, when you come to play, you never bother about keys clipboard value but, correct what is that clipboard value is clipboard code value, value. state code here code column if clipboard value is name value name column okay you have to look at clipboard value not the key column or something else okay uh, what what did you write alter state stable by adding a new column country code and add values into it alter state stable by adding a new column country code and add values into it okay done completed next populate states populate states values populate states state values filtered filtered based on based on the selected country based on the selected country at country drop down based on the selected country at country drop down this will not take more than 5 minutes okay how do you alter let me show you altering state table by adding a new column i'm going to add it so as usual process you know add here country code column submit it's it's not mandatory to match anything you can give any name okay and go to records tab refresh go to records tab refresh once just to refresh this okay once you refresh this you should see the new column added because i added a property there right add values so here i know this clearly that's why i am giving you don't just need not to bother about all this because business will add all this things this is uk this is also uk this is usa this is also usa this is what is this one yeah. india right and like this you add everything else this is also india completed so like this you should be adding one column okay done now open the report definition rule which is source of state drop down while you are practicing how do you open that while at the time you are practicing this how do you open the report definition which is which make is the state with live UI. you make a transaction go to the respective screen use live ui and then from there you try to open don't directly open it because you know the design okay imagine you don't know the design okay this is in version 2 what should i do because already version 2 is locked as to make the changes now i'm going to save as this too so parameter tab what is the tab parameter tab parameter tab and what is the parameter name you give actually 
you can give any name of your wish but make it something meaningful country code country code i am i am selecting like this and data type also you must be giving understand everyone clear so your your wish whatever the name you want to give but parameter name should not have spaces in between and all okay so that's the name of the parameter i have given so now just add filter condition add filter condition so let me add a filter condition where column source is country code where country code where country code is equal to value what is the value param dot at the bottom you will find that parameters and all you will find in the drop down at the very bottom so param dot whatever the parameter it, it is there country cd save done this is completed okay you can check in and all that's okay and here you go go to section go to section which section address section that section you will be opening by using live ui cell properties of state cell properties of state and here you go here is the place where this is being called correct it is not showing parameter now reselect this again you have to select it okay from the drop down again you select this the moment you select it will get refreshed and it will show the parameter understand everyone clear now the value i want to pass is country because this class this section is there in data class directly you will mention the country property and it is like it is removing this one property for value you choose it again state code everyone clear we are passing the value what is been there on the clipboard submit save done so we will test it and still we need to fix one issue i will tell you now create a case and test it vehicle insurance the screen you can just simply pass on and in the next screen you can see country is equal to some value you select okay you select some country so select india and you see only the states related to india dot populated and you select united kingdom and the states related to uk got populated and if you select us accordingly it will populate us related and if you select australia it is not populating anything why i did not add any states for that okay that's why so let's create one more case let's create one more case and test it okay close this discard this new vehicle insurance and you see here straight drop down you see now what happened on load on first load of ui when there is no value selected for country what is happening all the state codes and names are oh, i'm sorry all the states and all the states are getting loaded actual expectation is what is actual expectation should not yeah is it should not have any values loaded or populated should not have anything only select should be there only select should be there what is the reason for this so go to states uh, states report definition rule i will directly execute to explain you this concept run this so when i run the report it is not asking for the parameter value 
this has a parameter that is being used in where condition it is not asking for the parameter value it is taking the value as what is the value it is taking when there is no value passed to the parameter process command i mean like the report definition is considering the value as any any means indirectly all any means all indirectly means all okay any value means all values okay that's the reason so when there is no value there is no value passed to the parameter of states report it is considering the value as what is the value any which means all indirectly which means kind of all okay it is considering any and fetching everything so this should be fixed they should be fixed how it should be fixed when there is no value passed to the parameter of state report Uh, no value passed to the uh, parameter of states report the value to be considered as as null state code is equal to null where country code equal to null is there any matching there then this will be fixed now let's do it now let's do it how can i do it open report definition rule see here open report definition rule let me close this this is the report definition rule right this is the where condition right so this is the gear icon correct click on gear icon at the where condition click on gear icon at, at the end of where condition so at the end of where condition you see a gear icon click on that it will open one properties panel you can see here there is a checkbox select the checkbox use null if empty which means that if there is no value passed to the parameter of this where condition the value to be used as null understand everyone clear online students everyone of you are you clear yeah 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 save completed now create a case and test Okay, here you go now. Submit this, and here you go. I am not selecting any country. Are there any states, either above or below? You can see both places. No states are loading. The value is previously it got loaded. Now you select America. What is happening? Only New York and New Jersey are getting loaded. That is as expected. Completed. I will share you the. practical document and parameters concept document parameter theory document what else and uh, this practical document has created document you can wind up for today this is a concept cascading is a concept not a rule okay a concept has been implemented by utilizing some rules okay parameters is also a concept it's not a rule property yes sir it's a rule technical this is a concept technical understand yeah earlier for checkbox changes we did post to clipboard but see for cascading drop down there is no need to refresh to post the value prpc will automatically take it it is internal design of python so when you are implementing cascading drop down there is no need to no need to refresh or post the previous drop down value prpc internally takes it there is no problem okay